So if you are watching this video, I will assume that you have already created the voucher.com account and you have already verified your voucher account by depositing uh, the requested amount. So now let's get started. In today's video, we are going to deploy WordPress on voucher.com. So to do so, uh, I will need to log in to my voucher account then. Just follow along. Okay, so I'm now logging in into my account. So if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about making money, and this is one of the videos in the Paris for Start a Profitable blog. That generates money for you 24/7 online, even when you are sleeping. So in today's video, we're going to generate WordPress. If you don't know what WordPress is, don't worry, you understand more as you move on. But let me just show you all you need to do. So when you log into your voucher account, I'm sure you're going to have something like this. Okay, this is your your dashboard. So what can you do here on voucher? So when you click when you click on products over here, you'll be able to see your servers, uh, customer is and so on. When you come to bidding over here, this way you'll be able to add more funds to your account. Okay, you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to add more funds, be able to pay, you'll be able to see your history and so on. So if you get to have any questions or something is wrong with your voucher account, you can come to support and create a support request, okay? So there is also the affiliate whereby you can earn money when you promote voucher to your friends. And the last thing is your account whereby you can edit in some things in your account. And the last thing is the, uh, is the docs, the documentation. Okay, this way you're going to learn more about how voucher works and so on and some other tutorials. So now let's get started on deploy WordPress on voucher. So to do so, all you need to do is to click wherever you see this plus button over here and you have to choose, I have to choose deploy new server. So just click on it. Okay, so here we've got four types of servers we can deploy. Okay, uh -huh. there is the cloud compute, there is the high frequency, bare metal, dedicated cloud. Okay, so the cloud compute is the cheapest. Let me just remove this thing. Yeah, so the cloud compute is the cheapest. The high frequency is also cheap and I highly recommend you getting the high frequency one. Then the bare metal, uh, it's, it's nice but it's expensive. Then the dedicated cloud, it's the most expensive one. I talked about this type of hostings in the third video or so in this playlist. So I will include the link to the video so that you can learn more about the types of hosting and which one should you go to. So. For this case, us we're going to be creating a money generating website. So all we need to do, we have to go on with the high frequency one. So we have to click on high frequency one until you see a tick. Then when you're done that, you scroll down, you come to server location. So you need to choose where your server will be. Okay. So let's say for example, if your website will be targeting people in Tokyo. Okay, you can choose Tokyo because your website will be near people in Tokyo and it will be super fast. So if your website will be targeting your customers who are in your Los Angeles, you can choose Los Angeles and the website will be faster to them. Yeah, so what if you're not sure about your target audience? Well, if you're not sure about your target audience or if you can't find any server location nearer to yours, uh, just choose any based in USA or Canada. As for me, I like going with Canada, okay? I like Toronto. 
so when you're done with this it's time to choose our server type okay so one thing you should know that we're not going to create a website from scratch you're not going to be writing posts using programming languages you're not going to do everything from scratch as i said earlier on that you're going to create a money generating website for free without coding so everything will be simple and straightforward so all you need to do you don't need to uh, choose an operating system start coding and stuff all you need to do just come with the written application and you can choose an already installed application which is wordpress so if you don't know what wordpress is wordpress is a cms okay it means a content management uh, software or something yeah it's only going to allow us to write posts and manage other things so to watch the next video be sure to subscribe and turn all notifications so here is the wordpress i've clicked on it okay then i have to choose the server size okay i mentioned about the server size in my third video and by now you should be able to decide which server size you want so this is when you're starting out it's, i highly recommend you going on with a six dollars per month which gives you one cpu one gb ram memory vps and one tb bandwidth and has got an nvm uh, storage type which is 32 gb so this is big and better and as you are starting up this is the best choice so once you uh, you grow your website then you can go on and expand it with any of these toys but as for now keep uh use the six dollars per month so in my previous video i talked about how you can get voucher three hundred dollars credits and whereby you can even be able to run your wordpress site for more than a year for free so be sure to watch that video as well so now now that you have selected our server size let's now deploy it okay so you will be asked this feature should we enable this okay so as for now uh you can enable them but it's up to you okay backups okay backups we incur a 1.2 dollars per month meaning to be seven dollars so as you are starting out i highly recommend you to enable if you are able to pay the seven dollars per month if you want just leave it okay then there is the uh private networking uh this one uh, it's up to you but just leave it the way it is okay so once you're done with these things leave these things the way they are and write in here whatever i want to write so i'm going to write uh my first uh my first website okay so when you're done with all this you have to click on this button saying deploy now okay and our wordpress will be deployed okay so, so you're going to see this notification saying server added successfully so you just need to give it just need to give it like uh a minute or so to finish deploying okay so i clicked on my first website is saying the subscription is not currently active so you cannot manage it so let's give it uh, a minute to finish the story and to be able to run our wordpress site okay so it's okay so it's now done uh installing so when it's done when it's showing you running there just click on it okay so when you click on it you'll be given the ip address of the server you also be given the root access the username and the password so here you'll be able to see it has got a uh, cpu one core one gb ram storage 32 gb and to be able to show you your current charges okay so here you'll be given your login details down let's say some of the things you can check so when you come here on usage graphs you'll be able to see how much bandwidth your website uses in a period of time you also be able to see uh, cpu usage ram usage and so on and disk usage and as well network 
so this is when we are starting out this website so uh just have to check back again within a few days when people start visiting the website then here is the settings bar uh just leave these things the way they are don't change anything and this i tell you to do so and this maybe we have an idea of what you're doing then the snapshots uh these are more like backups whereby when i take a snapshot instead of getting a website from scratch i can just install the snapshot so if you don't want to get confused don't don't do anything here yeah backup so if you enable the backups you'll be able to see your backups here and if you make a mistake you'll be able to go back to your old backup and continue having your website then this is the those protection okay protecting website from hackers sky is not available in my location so just leave it the way it is okay so now that we have deployed our website well let's talk about these buttons over here so these buttons over here this one uh, is the view console uh, for now we don't need it this button here is for stopping the server this button here is for restarting the server same as restarting your laptop and this button here is for reinstalling when you reinstall you install WordPress again from scratch and you lose all the posts you've written everything you've done you lose it all then this cabin button here is for server destroying if you no longer need the website you just click here and you no longer be built so now let's access our website let's finish installing it so we're told that to complete your wordpress installation follow these instructions so log into your wordpress panel using the following credentials so all i need to do right now is uh, right click and open this link in new tab okay so all you need to do right now is to okay open this link in a new tab okay so i'm going to see this error okay i'm going to show you how you can solve it later on so all you need to do all you need to do right now is to click on advanced and click on proceed to this ip address so all you need to do what for it it loads okay so you'll be asked to enter in the username and the password of which we are already given over here so all you need to do is copy it Control plus c and copy also the password okay and paste in the password and sign in Yeah, so once we do that, it's going to ask us to choose our language. So go on with the English, United States, and click on continue. So you'll be asked to write in your site title. So let's give our website a name. As for me, I already have a name, or oh, I already have a website. So I'm going to give this website a. I'm going to. It's going to be Kisha. Okay, this one is going to be Kisha Rains. Uh, yeah. So let's create a username. A username does not need to have space. Okay, so it's going to be Kisha Rains. Okay, you can put in type any username you like. Then password. Uh, yeah so i am going to uh, change this password and write my own password okay then i am going to enter my email over here and i'm going to click on install wordpress okay so WordPress has been installed and this is my username and the password I've chosen So right now all I need to do is log in So I need to enter my username And the password I chose And click on remember me and log in 
so as you can notice uh, we are using this IP address to access this website in the next video I am going to show you how you can uh, buy a domain and point a domain name to voucher.com so this is WordPress admin panel okay so this is WordPress actually looks so in the next video I am going to explain to you what WordPress is what all these things mean how it what these things do and how they work so before i end this video there's some things we need to do before i end this video okay so the first thing i need to do after remove uh yeah so first of all let me show you something so when you remove this thing and click enter It's going to bring our website saying Kisha Rings, just another WordPress site. Okay, so this is a simple web website by WordPress, and we're going to customize it and make it a beautiful one. So now, the, th the next thing we need to do is connect a domain name and uh, show you how WordPress is and continue to the next step. So to to never miss that video, make sure that you like this video, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video. If you have questions or if you are behind somewhere, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll gladly help you. In the next video, I'm also going to explain and show you all what these mean and how they work. So, this video has gone too far. Yeah, so make sure that like to support me bye for now